Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are doing lesson nine problem set for um, this morning. And what I want you to focus on is today we're trying to find equivalent fractions, but we're trying to find them in a number sentence and we're gonna use a division sentence or division problem. So last week we did it with multiplying. This week we're gonna use division to solve it. So what I want you to look at first is this first example, you'll see that they started with two fourths two out of the four were colored in and they divided by two and when they divided that by two they saw that um uh one two parts out of the four so it was one half so we're doing the opposite of what we did last week all right guys okay all right here we go let's start this one here we have one two three colored in out of two, four, six. So what we're gonna do is we're going to see what we can divide it by. What I like to always try is whatever my numerator is. So let's see if we can, sorry Xander's here with me this morning, um, if we can divide by three. So if we're gonna divide this by three, well that means we're gonna take groups of three. One, two, three. There's one group of three. One, two, three. There's two groups of three. Whatever we did to the top, we're going to do to the bottom. So how many sh are shaded? How many groups of three are shaded? Here's one group where all of them are shaded. So that's one. And how many groups out of the whole six are shaded? One, two. So three, six is equivalent to one half. And remember friends, we could double check to see if we are correct. And if it still makes sense by cross multiplying, and indeed it does, they both are equal to six, okay? You could also just follow the division equation. Three divided by three is one, six divided by three is two, or you can use the model method to show the equivalency. Okay, so for this one, first we need to figure out what is our initial fraction. So we're gonna figure out we have two colored in or shaded in out of how many? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now, I like to make groups of whatever my numerator is. So my numerator is two. Let's see if we can make groups of two, which means we're dividing by two. Whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom. Let's see, one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two. So out of all 10, we were able to make five groups of two. Now we're gonna look at just our shaded one. So here's our shaded one, and we were able to make one group of shaded. So two tenths is equivalent to one fifth. I want you to try BL by yourself, pause your video and try it, then check back with me to see if you did it correctly. Hopefully if you did this correctly, you divided by two and you made groups of two. For the total of all eight, we were able to make four groups of two and the part shaded in, we were able to do one group of two. All right, um, let's go ahead and answer E and F. So E, what happened to the size of the fractional units when you composed the fraction? So when I composed the fraction, the size of the fractional units actually became bigger. So that's what we need to write here. I'm going to pause my video and write mine out if you want to as well. Um, don't forget we need to write a complete sentence, capital at the beginning, period at the end. Again, my answer was when I composed, this is an O, sorry, it kind of looks like an A. Um, when I composed the fractions, the size of the fractional units became bigger. So let's move on to F. What happened to the total number of units in the whole when you composed the fraction? So when we composed the fraction, um, there were actually fewer units, right? The units became fewer. So I'm going to pause my video, write my sentence, and check back with me after you write yours. Make sure it's a complete sentence. Okay, there were fewer total units in the whole when I composed the fraction. Um, I swear, I keep dropping my pen over and over again. In the first area model, show two sixths. So I'm just gonna stop right there, my roadblock, and let's show two six. That means we're gonna break it up into six parts and then color in two out of the six. 
Okay. Okay. So there is my two six. Now I'm gonna come over here and it says in the second area model show three ninths. I'm gonna put my roadblock. So I'm gonna break this up into ninths. Three, six, nine, and I'm gonna color in three of them. And that is my three ninths. Then it says show how both fractions can be renamed as the same unit fraction. So remember when I like to decompose it, I like to um, divide by things that are the same as the numerator. So for example, this one, the numerator is two. So I'm gonna divide and see if I can break it up into two parts. So like here's one, two, one, two, one, two. If I divide it by two, whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom, whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. I have one part that's colored in, that's shaded in, I guess you could say, and all six of those are how many groups of two? One, two, three. Now let's see if we can divide over here and get to something that's one third, because they want them to both be equivalent to the same thing, like the same numbers. So here we go, let's see. Um, I like to divide by whatever my numerator is. So if I'm my numerator is three, let's try dividing by three, which means I'm gonna do groups of three. One, two, three. Here's one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three. How many are shaded in? Only one of my groups of three are shaded in. Out of all total of nine, we have three groups of three shaded in. And now that they're both one third. Okay, friends, moving on to the homework, lesson nine homework. I want you to circle three problems that I want you to do. I want you to do 1B, 2A, and 3A. Um, then check back with me in a few minutes and we will uh, go over it real quick. Don't forget you have an exit ticket back on Schoology. And um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I did was um, up here, I divided by whatever my numerator was and I broke it up into six equal groups. Saw there was one half. Um, down here, I divided by my numerator again and made groups of two and there was one six. Down here, I ran out of room when I did my equation, so it actually worked out because B said to write your equation out. So, um, okay, Xander. So I divided by my numerator and made um, groups of four. And over here I did my numerator and did groups of six. So I'll give you a second to check this out. Um, don't forget to do your exit ticket, guys, on Schoology. All right, bye-bye.